Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 12th to the 18th of April 2021. I hope you're well Aquarius. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your oracle card for the week. Okay, message for Aquarius please, angel spirits, guys. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. For the week. Message for Aquarius, thank you. Message for Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, so I have, what is that number? Number seven. Do not fear the unknown. So that is a message for you for the week. Don't fear the unknown. It's exactly where you need to be for some of you. Uh, there's definitely a kind of energy of just surrender and go with something here. I like the seven, which is a master number of spiritual protection guidance. Uh, okay, what do we have for Aquarius? We have, oh, soulmate. Well, that's lovely. Okay. So I'm going to pull some cards. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel spirits guides. Message for Aquarius. 12th to the 18th of April 2021. Thank you. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. So I'm going to pull three cards, you know by now, and then I'll clarify and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Aquarius, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay. That flew out for you. <laughs> Eight of Wands in the challenge position. Yeah, Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Cups, wow. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Aquarius, thank you. What do we have for Aquarius? Okay, there's, I think there's three cards. <laughs> Getting a bit giddy, those uh, cards. Okay, so I've got the Seven of Pentacles there, Aquarius. The Four of Pentacles and oh, the Ace of Wands. So Knight of Swords is clarified with the Five of Wands. Oh my goodness, Nine of Cups. The Wish Coming True card with the Knight of Cups. Lovely energy. And the Sagittarian card of the Temperance energy at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I just want to know what this is. Um, what is that Five of Wands there? What is that Five of Wands for Aquarius, please? What is that Five of Wands for Aquarius? So I have the Six of Cups. Interestingly, again, I've got the Nine of Cups at the bottom of that deck too. <laughs> so it feels very lovely. Um, well, for some of you, if you have been... You know, there is definitely an energy of some communication coming your way, Aquarius. Um, could have been something that was delayed. Now, there's a feeling of distance here for some of you. I mean, you know, this can be a card of travel, the Eight of Wands. Um, but it's the swift energy of swift progress happening. And it's by the actions that you might have been taking. So uh, some communication coming in or conversation or news out of the blue and all of a sudden there's the change and it's positive change with the eight of wands the ones are all about potential power growth uh, passion excitement you know something absolutely connected to your heart and soul so if you've been thinking about uh you know maybe something that's very much connected to your heart and soul moving or uh, it could be to be near to somebody, you know, or them to be near to you, whatever this is, you know, I feel that this could represent these energies. Um, can also be, you know, maybe some kind of exciting news or information or progress or shift that's happening. You might have been doing online dating as well, you know, there's some kind of technology here as well. So I kind of see for some of you, uh, 
whatever connections that you've been making could be online, could be at some kind of distance here. It feels it this is delivering some real potential. Uh, I see this Ace of Wands as an opportunity, um, real potential that is absolutely connected to your heart and soul. Now, you know, this, uh, the Four of Pentacles is a little bit of self-protection there, self-preservation, cautiousness, uh, giving some deep consideration to something, taking stock. It feels in this energy, there is the opportunity for going for something now. You might be looking to um, move, it could be move closer to something, saying, or move somewhere that's connected to your heart and soul. You might be looking to, um, like I said, there could be some someone that you could have met or been speaking to at a distance and you'll find in progress and there's a real kind of opportunity here that's presenting itself that has such potential that you're really evaluating taking stock of but there's a cautiousness about this as well with the four of pentacles you know this could also be restrictive energy maybe to do with the pandemic as well and you know some of you could have been affected by that too uh you know, I can only do so much at the moment because we're all kind of like restricted, you know, we're at, some of us at different levels. So for some of you, it might well be that that might be interfering with how much you can take action right now. But it definitely feels like it's something that you're considering. And, you know, that seven of pentacles is all about the long term view. You know, how do I see this playing out long term? Is it sustainable? And it feels in this energy, you're really giving it some really deep consideration here whatever this opportunity is now yes this is very good in terms of money career finances as well with the pentacles energy so whatever resonates for you it could be i'm getting this energy of the six of of cups is It can be about revisiting the past of connection to somebody from the past. I mean, that might resonate for some of you. News, information coming your way. And it, it definitely feels in this energy you are giving something some deep consideration here. You know, the five of wands, it, 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 I mean, yes, this can be a card of conflict. I mean, it might well be for some of you, you've had some conflict here, but it it feels in this energy, maybe conflict in the past, you know, but it feels in this energy, it might be causing you some conflict, you know, because the Knight of Swords is an energy of somebody who makes up their minds and gets direction and, and takes inspired action and goes for something, you know, uh, but they have clarity of the mind, the direction, they bring change, so there's definitely an energy of some kind of change happening but some of you might be dealing with somebody reconnecting to somebody from the past you're taking some deep thought about this situation it feels that there's some self-preservation here so whatever this five of wands i mean it'll be different things to different people it could be your own inner conflict in a struggle you know there's a cautious element self-protection here um but it can also be if there's any history with this person, you know, it might well be that's just what this is representing too. But it feels as that it feels that there's potential. I have to say these these ones energy are all potential energies. Um, temperance is finding the way through. You know, it's finding your flow. There's a degree of patience here as well. So there could be, you know, it's, it's a moderate energy temperance. It is how it, you adapt to find balance and find the way through a situation. You know, we sometimes see the two cups at extreme opposite emotions, you know, fire and water. They're sometimes presented at. And really, it's just finding that way through the middle ground, because, you know, when you mix fire and water, it creates steam. They cancel each other out. And that's what temperance does. It tempers things. It just allows everything to be um, moderate, to find the way through, to find the solution, to find the flow, you know, that kind of energy. But it is a balanced energy, the temperance, but it can also be a card of patience. Um, 
but it feels in this situation there's what this news is bringing is some kind of offer an opportunity now yes for some of you we have soulmate energy here and this is definitely an energy of don't fear stepping into the unknown yes there's a little bit of, of cautiousness you know when you look at that angel one one foot is on the land one toe is in the water they're kind of just testing the water you know it, it definitely feels i'm just testing the water i'm just going at my own pace but i am in my flow you know it's that kind of cautious energy um but it definitely feels like this is a wish a heart's desire something that's going to bring you happiness and joy so you know certainly in terms of love romance relationships this is absolutely beautiful uh somebody expressing their love offering love to you uh like i said it could be something from the past here um the Knight of Cups, you know, can also be linked with creativity, creative opportunity. So again, anything to do with money, career, finances, this could be that too for some of you. Uh, you know, I, I talk about the ones as in connecting to your heart and soul. So when we talk about soulmate, I mean, that's kind of what I'm seeing as well. So for some of you, that can represent this energy too. Something that is absolutely connected to your heart and soul that you want to connect to you might be revisiting something you know again like i said something connecting to your heart and soul but there's definitely some kind of offer that brings change we have two nights which are all about change that is bringing in some kind of hope dream wish happiness joy your way feels very beautiful and there's just this cautiousness here i'm just testing the waters you know um but nevertheless it feels very beautiful so yeah maybe some revert, reserved energy here but it just feels like yeah i'm just going to see how how things develop and move forward it's funny that i got another nine of cups there i'm going to pull one more card yeah so it's a judgment call energy something is going to happen here some news information a conversation out of the blue maybe for some of you and there will be a little bit of cautious um cautiousness on your part for whatever reason but nevertheless this is an opportunity absolutely connected to your heart and soul and the judgment is that judgment call uh something is going to happen that is going to require you to act and it could be to do with some kind of news offer opportunity whatever the six of cups is so um very nice energy aquarius i'm going to pull a final card for you final message for aquarius thank you yeah you see nurture and that's what you do with the ace of wands you nurture it because it's a growth card um nurture allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed It feels very beautiful. So um, I hope you enjoyed it, Aquarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.